NoDQ.com. 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 The debate as to whom the greatest tag team in wrestling history is will be settled at Ringside Wars when the Mario Brothers take on Team 3D. Spider-Man is known for taking risks, but what will happen when he goes one-on-one -on -one with the death-defying Sabu? Several superstars call themselves the machine, but only one will be the ultimate machine when Ringside Wars is all said and done. Leatherface is one crazy mofo, but there is one man who has lost his mind and isn't looking for it, and that's Mick Foley. Three monsters from No DQ, CAW, WWE, and TNA respectively will do battle in a monsters ball match until there is only one left standing. Welcome everyone to Ringside Wars. Tonight, the best that no DQCAW has to offer will do battle with superstars from both WWE and TNA. We have five huge matches scheduled and we're kicking things off with a tag team matchup. Mario is making his way to the ring and he is one half of the most celebrated tag team in no DQCAW history. Mario and Luigi, the Mario Brothers collectively, are five-time No DQ Tag Team Champions. The Marios are hoping to make a rebound following their loss of the Tag Team titles to Spider-Man and Batman at Violent Impulse. There are no titles on the line tonight. But what is on the line is the claim of being the greatest tag team in wrestling, period. Team 3D, they are arguably the greatest tag team in wrestling history. Brother Ray and Brother Devon have dominated every wrestling promotion they have worked for. Tonight, they invade no DQCW and hope to defeat the number one tag team that no DQCW has to offer. Can Team 3D prove to the world that they are unstoppable anywhere they go? The Marios have Team 3D tonight, but regardless of the outcome, the Marios have their tag team title rematch card, and it will go into effect at no DQCW's main event on Friday, September 15th. On that night, Spider-Man and Batman will defend the tag team titles against the Marios in a rematch from Violent Impulse. For the Marios, taking a step back might be the best way to take two steps ahead. Here we go with this tag team matchup between arguably the two greatest tag teams in their respective realms. Team 3D, Brother Ray, and Brother Devon versus the Mario Brothers. Mario Mario and Luigi Mario. And wait a minute, Brother Ray now with the Bubba Bomb onto Mario, taking out the other two guys as well. Brother Ray, Bubba Ray, I'm just gonna call him Ray. Wait a minute, Ray now sends Mario into the corner. He takes Mario up, what's this? It looks like a big suplex coming up from the top, and he connects with it. Onto Mario, wait a minute, Brother Devon with that belly to back. Onto Luigi. Team 3D has got the early advantage so far. Wait a minute, there's a drop kick. And now, what's Bubba gonna do? Bubba Ray with that belly to back suplex. So many names to call these guys by. Wait a minute, Team 3D going for a double power driver onto Luigi. Luigi is stunned. Mario unable to come to his brother's aid. Brothers versus brothers in this matchup. And there's a bulldog by Mario. Mario and Luigi, they are five time. Wait a minute, Luigi with that flying headbutt onto Brother A. Mario and Luigi, five time, no DQ tag team champions. 
Team 3D. I have no idea how many times they've been ECW, WWE, WCW Tag Team Champions, but I know it's been a lot. More than the Mario Brothers, that's for sure. Wait a minute. Mario now. No. Brother Ray takes down Mario. It should be noted that the Mario Brothers, they, they've always been huge fans of Team 3D. You can tell in their repertoire. The Mario Brothers, no doubt, have gotten a lot of influence from Team 3D. They've looked up to them. They've copied their style. But will it be enough in this matchup? Can the students beat the teacher, so to speak? The Mario Brothers, they're doing pretty well for themselves right now. What's going to happen here? They got Brother Ray in the corner. Wait a minute. Could they be going for the Mushroom Surprise? No! Brother Devon just able to stop it at the last second. Brother Devon saving his partner there from what might have been sure defeat if the Mario Brothers were able to connect with that mushroom surprise. And Brother Ray, wait a minute. Luigi, the stunner! The Super Mario stunner! Onto Brother Devon! Luigi makes the cover. He's got him, but Brother Ray was pinning Mario. That could have been it. Had Brother Ray not gone for that pinfall first, the Mario Brothers might have had this match won. Brother Ray now with a belly-to-back suplex off the top onto Luigi. Wait a minute. I know this. No, wait. Brother, Brother Devon kind of sidetracked what Brother Ray had intended there. Look at this. The Wazap! Brother Devon with that flying headbutt to the point area of Luigi. Wow. He makes the cover, but only gets a one count. Mario now with a scoop and a slam onto Brother Devon. Luigi now once again slowing the pace down with that Boston Crab. And there's a clothesline by Brother Devon. Brother Devon takes down Luigi. Brother Ray now picks up Luigi. What are they going to do here? It looks like a double suplex. Nice teamwork by Team 3D. And now Devon sends Mario in. Wait a minute. Could it be? Yes! 3D! Team 3D connects with their finishing maneuver. With the 3D. And Devon makes the cover. And it's over. Team 3D has defeated the Mario Brothers. And unfortunately for the Mario Brothers, they have suffered back-to-back -back losses. First, at Violent Impulse, when they lost the No DQ Tag Team titles. And now tonight, losing to Team 3D, the Mario Brothers. They are down, but I'm sure they're far from out. Spider-Man is the webmaster. He is one of the most popular superstars in no DQ CAW history. Spider-Man is not afraid to take risks. I can still remember at box office smash when Spider-Man flew off the hell in a cell onto Frankenstein. Tonight, Spider-Man is going to be against a person who might be willing to take even more risks than Spider-Man himself. He is the homicidal, suicidal, genocidal, death-defying Sabu. Sabu doesn't care about hurting his body as long as he is hurting his opponents. I expect this match to be fast-paced and out of control. Spider-Man is representing no DQCAW. Sabu is representing ECW. Who will take the extra measures to pick up a win? For their respective promotion, we're about to find out. Spider-Man has been taken to the extreme in the past, but I don't know if he'll ever be the same after this match with Sabu. Sabu is so unpredictable. Who knows what we're going to see in this matchup? Goes for a bulldog. Sabu blocks it. Sabu sends Spider-Man in. And look at that. There's a springboard drop kick by the Homicidal, 
suicidal, genocidal, death-defying Sabu. And what's Sabu going to do here? God only knows. Sabu with that plancha onto Spider-Man. And what's he going to do now? Sabu, what's his next move here? Sabu with that springboard backflip onto Spider-Man. And Sabu now, he picks up the Webmaster. He sends Spider-Man back in. What is on Sabu's mind? What does he have in store for Spider-Man here? Sabu, he's signaling for something. He's got that trash can. He's, he just throws that trash can right over Spider-Man's head. And what's this? A springboard drop kick with the trash can over Spider-Man's head. Spider-Man, the bells have got to be ringing in his ears. Sabu makes the cover and only gets a two count. Sabu misses with that drop kick. Spider-Man sends Sabu in. Could Spider-Man make a comeback here? There's a suplex. Spider-Man starting to gain control back here of this matchup. He takes, he takes Sabu down with that clothesline. And there's a springboard backflip of his own. Onto Sabu. Spider-Man now taunting Sabu. And look at this. Spider-Man with that Hurricane Rana from the top rope. Now that was impressive. Spider-Man. He's got Sabu. He sends Sabu to the outside. Spider-Man, what's he going to do here? Sabu waiting for him. But no, Spider-Man just dives out on top of Sabu. Wait a minute, Sabu. Wait a minute, with that drop kick onto Spider-Man. Sabu, what's he looking for? Oh my goodness. Sabu, he's got a table. And Sabu throws Spider-Man onto that table. What the hell is going to happen here? This does not look good, ladies and gentlemen. Sabu with that flying leg drop onto Spider-Man through the table. Spider-Man, he is practically out of it. The referee, he's, he's making the count. Could this be it? No, just the two count. Spider-Man gets the shoulder up at the last second there. Spider-Man now back up to his feet, and there's a spinning kick onto Sabu. Spider-Man now makes the cover onto Sabu. Could this be it? Only gets a two count. Spider-Man now with a small package. Once again, could this be it? But once again, Sabu kicks out at two. Spider-Man now picks up the crazed Sabu. What's he going to do here? Sa Spider-Man with that double axe handle. And now stomping away. And a drop kick to the head. Spider-Man picks up Sabu, another double axe handle, another one, a third one, Spider-Man with those series of double axe handles, wearing down the back area of Sabu, Sabu has taken so much punishment over the years, those cannot feel good, it's got to be like a hammer being driven into your back multiple times, and wait a minute, Spider-Man now, with the triple German suplex, and he releases on the third one. Could this be it for Sabu? Sabu, his back has got to be toast at this point. Spider-Man makes the cover, and once again, Sabu just barely kicks out. Spider-Man now sends Sabu in, and look at this. The Dudley Dog DDT by Spider-Man. Whoa, wait a minute. Captain Jack Sparrow, he's here again. We saw him at Violent Impulse make his unexpected debut and now Jack Sparrow is here and now that pirate's plunge onto Sabu Jack Sparrow coming out of nowhere wait wait a minute Spider-Man he has been unmasked that is Peter Parker I knew it but wait a minute What's that dark stain on Sabu's underwear? Sabu, he's been stripped of his pants. Have you ever seen something like this before? Sabu goes for a clothesline. Spider-Man counters it into a small package roll-up. And no, only gets a two count. What, did Sabu, like, poop his pants at the mere sight of Captain Jack Sparrow? I have no idea. Spider-Man, he's been unmasked. His mask 
Stolen by Captain Jack Sparrow. Sabu, his genie pants. Stolen from Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow has struck again. Wait a minute now. Spider-Man on top. Sabu on top. These guys, the match is continuing here. And wait a minute. Look at that. That double collision. Both guys taken out. But I believe Sabu definitely got the worst end of that one. Spider-Man now. Send Sabu back in. These guys not letting what happened affect this matchup. Sabu, he's in the cradle. Could this be it, Spider-Man? Yes, it's over. Spider-Man is victorious over Sabu. But the story here, Captain Jack Sparrow making another appearance, attacking both guys with his trademark, Pirate's Plunge. Only in no DQCAW will you see Sabu wearing no pants, wrestling Spider-Man with no mask. Only in no DQCAW. Wow. Sagat calls himself the Total Package Wrestling War Submission Machine. Fortunately, Lex Luger is not part of this match. But then again, I don't know! I don't think we could afford to pay him anyway. But you know what? Let's talk about Sagat's t-shirt. Mr. 3 and 0. Talk about the nerve of this guy. The shirt is an obvious knock on Mr. Clean, who fortunately for Sagat is not here tonight. I like how Sagat has 3-0 on his shirt, when he only has technically been Mr. Clean on two occasions. One was a pinfall, one was a submission, but the third one he's referring to was an imaginary pinfall. But what would you expect from a guy that just decides to start calling himself the Total Package Wrestling War Submission Machine out of nowhere? What an ego! Tonight, Sagat will be going up against the wrestler, war, and submission machines, respectively, in a fatal four-way match. We just saw the war machine Rhino's entrance, and now, we are seeing the Samoan submission machine, Samoa Joe. From what I've heard, Joe has been taking this match more seriously than any other matches he's got going on in the near future. But will it be enough? for him to emerge victorious. Here comes Kurt Angle, the wrestling machine. When this match was signed, Angle was going to be representing ECW. But as you all know, Angle was released from his contract last week by WWE. Angle is now a free agent and he is pissed off. He's pissed now. Will Angle's determination and aggression be too much for the other competitors in this match to handle? Or will his frustration be his downfall? This is the Battle of the Machines. The Samoan Submission Machine. Samoa Joe. The War Machine Rhino. The Wrestling Machine Kurt Angle. And the man who uses all of those nicknames. Like he owns them or something. Sagat, also calling himself Mr. 3-0, a knock on Mr. Clean. But anyways, let's get down to this matchup. All four guys going at it here. The referee down in this melee already. Sagat now takes Samoa Joe down. And now Rhino sends Kurt Angle into the corner. Kurt Angle reverses it. Kurt Angle with shoulder tackles onto Rhino. And Samoa Joe breaks it up. Wait a minute now. 
Rhino with that shoulder tackle onto Sagat. This match totally out of control here. These guys just going at it here. No rules, no regulations. They're just fighting to see who the last man standing will be. And look at that, Kurt Angle takes down Samoa Joe. Kurt Angle, a wrestling machine, a master of the game, despite his problems as of late. Kurt Angle, he very well may be on top of his game, better than he's ever been. And wait a minute, Sagat just headbutts both guys together. Samoa Joe kicking away. But wait a minute, Sagat blocks it. Blocks Samoa Joe's attempt. Sagat now going for weapons. It's all legal. This match under no DQ rules. And Samoa Joe knocking down Sagat with that crutch. Samoa Joe now with that back suplex. Kurt Angle, he's pulling the straps down. He means business. He throws Samoa Joe on top of the announce table. Rhino and Kurt Angle exchanging a series of punches. Trying to block each other's attempts there. Wait a minute, look at this. A double suplex. A little bit of teamwork there by Samoa Joe and Kurt Angle. You know, if I were these three guys, Samoa Joe, Rhino, and Kurt Angle, I'd triple Team Sagat. This guy just decides to start using their respective names, their nicknames. In this match, we're going to find out who the ultimate machine is when it's all said and done. But why not take Sagat out first? Teach this guy a lesson, Sagat. Wait a minute, there's the angle slam by Kurt Angle onto Mr. 3-0 himself. And wait a minute, Sagat back up to his feet though. That angle slam, it used to be one of Kurt Angle's most devastating maneuvers. I don't know what happened. Samoa Joe now sends Kurt Angle on top of the table. Kurt Angle trying to defend himself. Wait a minute, Samoa Joe, could it be? He connects with the muscle buster through the table. Kurt Angle nearly broken in half. Rhino now sends Sagat in. And wait a minute, Sagat now sending Rhino back into the ring. Samoa Joe back in the ring. Kurt Angle still down, still recovering from that muscle buster through the table. And now Samoa Joe, he had that sledgehammer. Samoa Joe with that, that Yakuza kick onto Kurt Angle. And there is Rhino using that sledgehammer on Sagat. I'm losing my voice here. We're, we're just in the third match here at Ringside Wars. Kurt Angle, Samoa Joe, and Sagat in the corner. Both guys, as well as the other two, have to be feeling the effects of this matchup. Kurt Angle now, what's he going to do here? No. Samoa Joe sends Sagat into the corner. Samoa Joe working over Kurt Angle, but no. Kurt Angle with that hip toss. This, this action is out of control here. It's hard to call with all four of these guys just going at it. Kurt Angle, I don't know what he was going for there. Maybe Shades and Mr. Clean, I don't know. I don't know! Wait a minute, Samoa Joe goes for a clothesline, and he connects with it. Kurt Angle now, working over that shoulder area of Rhino. Samoa Joe takes Kurt Angle to the outside of the ring. Kurt Angle, he's got Samoa Joe now. What's he going to do here? Sagat with that sledgehammer. And wait a minute, Rhino takes the sledgehammer from Sagat. Rhino back in the ring now. Sagat just nails Rhino with that sledgehammer right in the face. Sagat now with that tiger shot. Sends Rhino. Wait a minute. What's this? Sagat nearly choking the life out of Rhino. He's just choking the man here. It's all legal. Rhino in a lot of trouble here. Sagat going for the pin. Kurt Angle with that angle slam on Samoa Joe. But I don't think he knows what's going on inside the ring. Now he does, but it's too late. Sagat has won this matchup. I guess now he can call himself the Total Package Wrestling War Machine. This match, completely out of control, but Sagat somehow managed to escape with a victory, and the guy that has the biggest mouth prevailed, and I guess now we're just going to have to hear it even more from this guy. Wait a minute. The Terminator. You know, this is a battle of the machines here. The Terminator, he's not a type of machine. He is the machine, and he's coming out here. And hey, wait a minute. 
Terminator now picks up Sagat, and there's the Dominator by the Terminator. I guess you cannot have a battle of the machines without the Terminator being involved. Before we get to this next match, I have just gotten word from the back that another match has been signed for No DQ CW's main event on Friday, September 15th. In addition to the Marios getting their No DQ Tag Team title rematch against Spider-Man and Batman, we will also be seeing Sagat taking on the Terminator one-on-one. -on -one. Friday, September 15th. Mark it on your calendars as the day of No DQ CAW's main event. Yeah! Here comes Mick Foley. Leatherface is one crazy mofo, but this man, Mick Foley, might be just a little more demented. Both of these guys are unpredictable, but I predict that this could very well be the match of the night. Like Kurt Angle, Foley is also a free agent in this match, but will he have better luck than Angle did in the previous match? Mick Foley versus Leatherface. Leatherface is an OCM. He is one crazy mofo. And now both guys have title belts here. And Mick Foley gets to Leatherface first with that title belt. This is Mick Foley's type of environment. He loves these hardcore, no holds barred matches. And look at that. Mick Foley with that crutch hitting it over the head of Leatherface. Leatherface now running up to the top. Leatherface jumps at Mick Foley, but Mick Foley, by instinct, swings that crutch right into the head of Leatherface. Mick Foley going for a pinfall. Doesn't even get a one count. Mick Foley now. He takes Leatherface to the outside. Mick Foley now with a series of punches. This is one of those type of matches where you're not going to see a lot of headlocks. And there's Mick Foley with one of his trademark DDTs. Mick Foley now makes the cover and gets a one count. Wears down Leatherface a little bit with that DDT. And there's a rake to the eyes. Very basic, but it gets the job done. And there's a chop by Leatherface. Leatherface now with that headbutt onto Mick Foley. Leatherface now has a ring bell. What's he gonna do here? I think I know what he's gonna do. He's gonna smash it right into the face. The good looking face of Mick Foley. Leatherface now. Imitating, mocking Mick Foley with the bang bang. We've seen him do that a lot of times in the past. Leatherface. He just swings. Grabs Mick Foley by the hair and swings him across the arena practically. And now, Leatherface has got a table. This does not look good for one of these guys or possibly both of these guys. You never know. Mick Foley now, what's he going to do with Leatherface here? He's got him. Mick Foley picks up Leatherface and that side suplex. Mick Foley picks up the OCM and a punch. And now Mick Foley grabs Leatherface again. There's a double axe handle. Another double axe handle. Mick Foley, he's got the table now. He takes it up the stage and he connects. He hits Leatherface with that table. Mick Foley now. He sets the table up on the stage. And there's a German suplex by the man from Texas. Leatherface coming off a very impressive win at Violent Impulse when he defeated Michael Myers. Wait a minute. Mick Foley with that sleeper hold. And he takes Leatherface down. Both of these guys. They love a good fight. And there's another German suplex by Leatherface. Leatherface goes for something. Mick Foley blocks it. Mick Foley with that swing and neck breaker. He makes the cover. The referee. There he is. And only a one count. Say what you will about these two guys. 
but they are two of the toughest son of a bitches I've ever seen. And what a match this has been thus far. Leatherface now with Mick Foley. There's that DDT by Leatherface onto Mick Foley. Leatherface makes the cover. Two, and no, just a two count. Not enough to put Mick Foley away. There's a slap. A slap by Leatherface. And now Leatherface sends Mick Foley in to the set, into the big screen. And now Leatherface makes the cover again. Could this be it for Mick Foley? No, only a two count. Mick Foley now. He's got Leatherface here. What's he going to do? There's a scorpion death drop by Mick Foley. Foley now stomping away and now punching away at Leatherface here. This match has gone all over the building, but that's the way. And look at that. There's the bang bang we know and love. Oh, wait a minute, Mick Foley. Could we possibly see Mr. Sacco? Will he pull out Mr. Sacco in this matchup? That remains to be seen. But wait a minute. There's a neck crank by Leatherface onto Mick Foley. Mick Foley is down. This could be it for One, Mick Foley. Two. The referee counts and only a two count. Wait a minute. Leatherface, I thought he was going for the slice and dice there. Mick Foley with that backdrop. Mick Foley, his head's hurting him. This match taking a toll on Mick Foley. But as we all know, he will take a lot of punishment. Wait a minute. Leatherface with a series of headbutts to Mick Foley. He's just smashing head to head there. Takes head to head, the phrase, the whole gives it a whole new meaning. And wait a minute, there's a side Russian leg sweep. A clean sweep, so to speak. Wait a minute, a stomp to the knee or the thigh area. By Mick Foley. Now Mick Foley applying a sleeper hold onto Leatherface, a chin lock. Leatherface now with that flying shoulder tackle. And once again, mocking Mick Foley with that bang bang. Leatherface now singling for possibly the end. Mick Foley back up to his feet. Leatherface, he's got Mick Foley. What's he going to do here? And wait, there's the slice and dice. He's going for it. Yes, he connects with the slice and dice onto Mick Foley. And it could be lights out for the man from Long Island. The referee makes the cover. And no, only a two count. Mick Foley showing that toughness that we've known, known him for over the years. Mick Foley now signaling. Maybe we're going to see the Sacco Claw. Maybe not. What's Mick Foley got up his sleeve? But wait a minute, Leatherface slows the pace down again without a domino stretch. Mick Foley is back. Every part of his body has got to be aching. What's, wait a minute, what's Leatherface doing here? Leatherface throws Mick Foley on top of that table. This does not look good. Leatherface, could he be going for the slice and dice on top of that table? He's got Mick Foley. What's he going to do here? He's got him, but no, Mick Foley breaks out of it. Mick Foley now. Mick Foley with that palm driver through the table. Both guys, they are down. Both guys are down from the impact of that palm driver. Mick Foley is not moving, but wait a minute. No, he, he's back up to his feet. Mick Foley makes the cover onto Leatherface. One, two, three. It's all over. Mick Foley has won this matchup with that Paul Driver through the table on top of the stage. What a tremendous hardcore match. It went just about everywhere. These two guys gave it everything they had here tonight at Ringside Wars. Here we go with our main event, the Monsters Ball match. Making his way to the ring is the current no DQ world champion Frankenstein. He is a sadistic monster that has dominated every challenger he has been in the ring with. Chef, Spider-Man, Las Vegas Link, and Jason Voorhees have all gone down in defeat to this seemingly unstoppable monster. Perhaps the only way 
to stop a monster is to put two other monsters against him. Abyss is considered to be the most dominant monster in TNA wrestling. Abyss has the raw power and the ability to withstand a great amount of punishment. He can fall through a table and be back on his feet 10 seconds later. Abyss is definitely a force to be reckoned with. Here comes the definitive wrestling monster known as Kane. Kane was burned alive as a child, but he made his return to society when he went after his brother, The Undertaker. Today, Kane stands alone, and he has nothing left to hide. One thing that is definitely not hiding is Kane's ability to destroy anything and everything that is in his path. What a matchup this is going to be. This is it. This is our main event here. We have these three seemingly unstoppable monsters. These three powerhouses. Kane, representing WWE. Abyss, representing TNA. And Frankenstein, the current No DQ World Champion. And there you see that German suplex by the champion. The title not on the line here. Abyss with that knee breaker. Wait a minute. There's one by Kane onto Abyss. And Frankenstein now picks up Kane. And there's a backbreaker. Wait a minute. Abyss has Frankenstein. And look at this. Abyss just picks up Frankenstein. Frankenstein is no small man. Frankenstein. 420 pounds. Abyss picked him up like he was nothing. Look at this. Kane choking out Abyss. Abyss, no small man either. These three guys, we're going to find out who the biggest monster, who the biggest dog in the yard is. Frankenstein with that suplex off the second rope. And now Abyss sends Frankenstein in. Abyss now with a series of punches. Kane back up to his feet. There was a clothesline by Kane. Kane now choking Frankenstein in the corner. Abyss takes Kane down with that kick. Kane, he turns things around here. Kane's got Abyss. Could it be? Yes, another backbreaker. Taking Frankenstein down as well. Frankenstein back up to his feet. Frankenstein sends Kane in. And there's a sidewalk slam by the No DQ World Champion. And Abyss just takes him down with that Luthez press. Kane now sends Abyss into the, into the ropes. And there's a sidewalk slam by Kane onto Abyss. Each guy, wait a minute, look at this, Kane, did you see that, that, that modified choke slam there, like a 1031, I was going to say, each guy here representing their own respective promotion, Frankenstein now, with that foot to the face, the neck area, of abyss, and Kane now, breaks it up, Kane, with those punches, but no, abyss blocks the second one, Abyss now, he's got Kane, what's he gonna do here? He just takes him down with that backdrop. And now, Frankenstein, he picks up Abyss and power bombs Abyss! These guys, all three of them, have massive amounts of power here. And there's another sidewalk slam by Kane. Kane now, working over the thigh area of Abyss. Frankenstein now, what's he gonna do here? A punch, Frankenstein. And no, look at that, a back body drop by Kane. Very impressive by the, the big red machine. Wait a minute. Let's not talk about machines again. Abyss now makes the cover and only gets a one count. Kane back up to his feet. This match, each guy has gotten a fair share of offense in this matchup. It's been very evenly matched up to this point. Kane makes a cover. Two. Two. And Abyss breaks it up. Abyss now. And we have Kane back up to his feet. Punching away. Can we see? No. I thought we were going to see a choke slam there. But Abyss kicked to low blow there. Abyss now. Look at that. 
Abyss showing some agility there. Abyss might be the most agile of these three guys. Ray McCain with that flying double axe handle from the top. Kane now up on top. Kane with that elbow onto Abyss. He makes the cover. One, two, and no. Frankenstein breaks it up again. Frankenstein now with a knee driving it into the arm of Frankenstein. And now Abyss. Abyss, is he constipated? I don't know. Wait a minute. Whatever Abyss was going for was blocked by Frankenstein. Abyss now. Going for a punch or something. And a scoop and a slam by the monster. One of the three monsters. I'll call him the sadistic monster. Wait a minute. Kane. He's got Frankenstein, the sadistic monster up. And Kane delivers with a choke slam onto Frankenstein. Frankenstein. I don't think he's ever taken a, a choke slam like that before in his career here in no DKCW. And only a two count. That could have very well been it. Abyss now with that modified bulldog. Okay now. No, Abyss counters. Abyss, he's constipated again. Abyss, he's got Kane. And what's he doing here? The spinning power bomb. He connects with it. Kane is stunned here. Abyss, he makes the cover. One, two, and only a two count. In this triple threat match, you have to be aware of where the third guy is. He can make a pinfall, but the other guy might be there to break it up. Frankenstein now, he's got Kane. He's got Kane up in a bear hug. Choking. Not choking, but literally driving. Wait a minute. Abyss breaks it up. We get an instant replay of that. I don't know if that was necessary or not. Oh well. Kane now. What's going to happen here? Wait a minute. Whoa, look at this. A double team call driver. Onto Frankenstein. The two monsters. Double teaming. The sadistic monster. And now Kane makes the cover again. And only a two count. Kane wisely, after that double team move, he took out Abyss and then made the cover. Kane, he's definitely, he's, he's smarter than he looks, let's put it that way. And there's a, there's a back body drop by Kane. Abyss with that clothesline. Abyss now, no wait. Frankenstein up to his feet. Frankenstein misses with that big boot. Frankenstein, what's he going to do here? It looked like maybe he was going for the monster bomb, but no. Abyss counters. Meanwhile, Kane signaling for the end here. But no, Abyss was able to counter. And another low blow. Wait a minute, no. That time there was no counter. Kane's got him. Up for the choke slam. And he connects with the choke slam. Onto Abyss. Abyss nearly broken in half. Frankenstein now. The monster bomb. He connects with the monster bomb on Kane. And I have a feeling this is all over. But wait a minute. Frankenstein goes for the pin on Abyss. Two and only a two count. Frankenstein, instead of pinning Kane, chose to pin Abyss. And wait a minute, Abyss pinning Kane here, but only gets a two count. What a match this has been. Back and forth between these three monsters. Abyss now with that spine buster onto Kane. And there's a big boot by Frankenstein onto Abyss. Frankenstein now covers Kane. One, two, three, no. Only a two count. And Frankenstein now once again applying that bear hug. Abyss now breaks up the bear hug with that chop. Abyss, he's got Frankenstein now. What's he gonna do here? Abyss with that flatliner. A flatliner onto Frankenstein. And Abyss now makes the cover onto the no DQ world champion. The referee running the ropes. One, taking his sweet ass two. time here to make the count. And only a two count. Abyss very well could have been screwed over here. It looked like he had Frankenstein beat there with that flatliner. And there's a sit down power bomb. But Kane right there to break up the count. Wait a minute. Frankenstein sits up. Frankenstein sits up from that. Frankenstein now, signaling for the end here. He misses with a big boot. And there's an attempted bulldog by Kane. Kane now with a clean sweep onto Frankenstein. 
Abyss now. He's got Kane. But no. Kane reverses it. Kane. It looked like an attempted choke slam. Abyss breaks it up. Abyss now. What's he going to do here? He picks up Kane. And he's going for another spinning power bomb. He connects with it. Onto Kane. And wait a minute. Frankenstein. Back up. Frankenstein with a scoop and a slam. Onto Abyss. Frankenstein now. He picks up Abyss. And there's the monster bomb. Frankenstein takes out both guys with the monster bomb. He One, makes a cover on Abyss. Two, two three, and three. It's over. Frankenstein has won this monster's ball matchup. The war is over. And Frankenstein is the only one left standing. But wait a minute. I've just gotten word that Frankenstein's next title defense will be on Friday, September 15th at no DQ state of his main event. And his challenger will be Superman. Unbelievable. Frankenstein Superman Friday, September 15th. No DQ state of his main event. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Friday, September 1st, 2006, a day that will live in infamy.